e chiri mu parliament chisachi negula anti prime minister wakuno uh, mnabanja uh, sabia emundu uh, sanyo mathaya simpuga nsamba nga gamba amsuse um, okumulumiriza ebya chibala mambu no ya mulina agamba ye abyogera ko bogezi era simusibi ntino ya siba chibala ma kati ate buli mathaya simpuga nsamba la jam parliament amulumiriza nti yabyogera nti era manyi wajali na agamba chino chimususe ko astobedwa ne wadda kubata inganda za chibala ma zimulumiriza ntino ya ino muntu wawe na sababu muntu bampe muntu bampe muntu njeo msajjono kubanga chisuse we chandi komye mathaya simpuga nsamba na mugamba tojja ku jifuna uh, singa wabadde wa kujifuna wandi zena yo era singo badde nayo singa wa kubye dando za singa fena tukubye kubye da urobu sungo obunji nenga sija kuchiru mamu gwe o ina o mkuru uh, chibala maa kubwa janotu gamba kuliko da ntino guo mulina ila guo musiba katino tutuwa leko jai tulabeyo haa ono neguja wagira ni mkula vila saba minister wafungiza sikati na wafungize mikono na ya kutani kwa kubuka wuka na agamba salawano mkwose mkwase salawano mkubebi kondo mpulire echiri mpala menti simanyi wajetulaga na yonu lutaro remini haka mkutuwa lene wera vileko na ya vila nakatambala kwa kuseka kubabi no vigenda kuse sato vina kuwaza na ya mama mpala mm, menti ya luno esuse mathaya simpuga nsamba woku tenweza I would like to initially appreciate the honorable colleagues who have made inputs in this statement by way of their submissions. I appreciate the concerns of the honorable uh, Nakut, and I want to invite you to read the list on page five. You'll see that Obong is not in Masaka. Uh, so we, we, we try as much as possible to scan the country. But remember that the perpetrators also undertake cover-up of their trucks. And therefore, that's why in my statement, not necessarily by what we're inviting parliament, I'm inviting members of parliament to be alive to the troubles in this country. I can understand where my brother, the Honorable Kajurenge, is coming from. That's why he will speak in whispers about injustice, but not bring them here. And he's expecting me to do his job. I invite you, Honorable Comrade, to rise to the occasion. I will defend your right to defend your position day and night. I will defend your right to be what you want to be. And I'll be the last person to accept anyone to mistreat you for your beliefs. So I invite you to be alive. Don't speak in whispers. If the violators are your neighbors, come and speak about it here. But don't speak in whispers. Honorable Jessica, I'll look out for the dictionary meaning of the word respect so that I can understand how a government is respected in the face of injustice. I can promise you I'll look for it. I want to thank the Reverend Father Onen. You see, this is about our country. There are reasons why you were initially a priest. And now in the parliament. You have your peace. Bec and because priests receive deeper training, deeper training must be followed by deeper knowledge. We can really speak over these issues with a clear understanding of where we're coming from. I don't know, Speaker, I, uh, I wanted to respond to those uh, honorable members with the utmost respect to understand where these matters are. And uh, we need to understand why the minority, quote unquote, would speak and demand for justice. And I agree there should be reconciliation. Reconciliation starts with justice. 
Don't simply say, let's reconcile while you get away with injustice. Right, Mr. Speaker, you have invited the minister and offered them 30 days. Honest, right, Mr. Speaker? 30 days is actually allow them to go and even cover up more. We're talking about people in detention for four years without trial. And the Minister for Internal Affairs is hiding behind sub judice as if the constitution was deleted. The Minister is a lawyer like myself, is aware of what happens when there's no trial after 365 days and is telling us sub judice. I have supplied information as to the military vehicles that knocked down people deliberately. He wants me to go and look for them. And in his 30 days, look for his officers, right, Mr. Speaker? The minister, because I talked about, we have talked about some of these issues. We are demanding for 18 disappeared persons. What did you talk about to them? So what did you say about the 18 missing persons? So that we can go or give you 30 days to come back and speak about them. So the Honourable Minister and the Prime Minister the Prime Minister says he knows where Chibalama is and she needs 30 days. Right on speaker. So right on speaker, I think I want to thank you for your patience because these are the reasons why we are here. Whether we have 30 bills to pass. Just an example, right on speaker. I and I spoke about I talked about it in my statement that in order to respond to the cries of fishermen in the fishing communities. We enacted a law that offered them protection. But after, even when the law is in place, they are still being hunted like aliens. And the minister want 30 days? Right on, speaker, we have reported here, severally, that the fishing is being undertaken by government officials, including ministers. It's on the hand side that one of the ministers bears both the name Wacha Wasemi. They were initially in blue color, they are now in black color. Same, same people, right on speaker. With due respect and with the indulgence, they don't need 30 days, they need next week to report on action taken on this. At the beginning of this time, right on the speaker, I, I ask for one minute. I had to listen and support over 10 families of the missing persons to pay school fees for their children. And the minister wants 30 days. I asked the Honorable Prime Minister that I escort her to go and see Chibalama. And she is needed 30 days? And I want to put it to her that the blood of Chivalama if is dead is on your hands. No, right on of Prime Minister, respect to the house. When you enter the house, you first sit and then we. No, you see. Assuming she had, a, she had a gun. Thank you. Can I conclude, Honourable Speaker? Thank you. Let me conclude, Right Honourable Speaker. Uh, and uh, Right Honourable Speaker, that is the lead of government business and her demeanor. Shame upon Nabanja. And assuming she had a gun in this room, she would be shooting all of us. Prime Minister will respond. I'll give the Prime Minister a chance to The respond. Prime Minister will respond after producing Ichibalama to this country. Thank you. Rob, thank you. Right Honourable Speaker, with due respect. Point of, point of order. Just allow a point of order.
honorable colleagues, let's listen to one another. Right, honorable speaker and colleagues, in the year 2022, you chaired a meeting. Which meeting was attended by the leader of opposition? Where I was, we brought the report. You chaired that meeting. The second meeting was chaired by the speaker herself. And we all agreed that I present a report on this floor. We came uploaded a, a report. The Honorable Speaker, at the time of presentation, my brother here said they were not ready. And therefore, since that time, that report is with you as parliament. Is this brother of mine in the order to insinuate that I have Kibarama? Honorable colleagues, let's. Right, Honorable Speaker. Honorable colleagues, please, let, just let's listen. Right, Honorable let's Speaker. Listen. You are aware that the Electoral Commission, the Electoral Commission released the road map. And so, our brothers in the opposition think they can use Parliament, that they can use Parliament to shout, to show the public. Mr. Honorable Speaker, is it in order for our brothers and sisters on the opposition to use the platform of Parliament to, you know, become, by the way, you are becoming something different. You are becoming something different. We are here for the common good of everybody in the country. Right, Honorable Speaker, is the human rights only in the in Buganda, some region? <laughs> right, Honorable Speaker, I now request you to prevail over our brothers on the opposite side. The point of order I'm bringing is it in the order for my brother, for my brother. Me to present. Is it in well, order for my brother thank, thank to you, keep right, waiting that I, I have the blood of Chibarama, I have what? When in actual sense I'm not a security person, I is in order. Thank you. <laughs> you see, oh, honorable colleagues, oh, 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 honorable colleagues, I have. Uh, I have consulted a few leaders outside the parliament, and I've also read through the answer how some of these cases used to be handled and all that. I think the best way, number one, the leader of government business and the leader of opposition, you need to start talking outside parliament. Uh, listen. I have checked how the rating Subambi was doing it with Professor Atigo. I have checked. <laughs> I'm told times have changed. But when you talk, because look, when you talk, you can't fail to get an answer. You even respect each other. What I'm seeing here, we are going to end up having disrespect. I request. I request from both sides, okay? I have a duty of presiding over this house. Please have respect for each other. Prime Minister have respect. Colleagues have respect. Let us have respect. Because you see, we have been peaceful. <laughs> now, <laughs> and, uh, but now, uh, the Prime Minister, I see, what has disturbed her so much is the issue of going on record. On the issue of Chibarama, that she has produced Chibarama. Hmm? So, Rob, you said the Prime Minister has Chibarama. <laughs> okay? Just fire your thank, statement. Thank you, Eternal Speaker. With the indulgence of the Eternal Speaker, I played a video in this parliament on record with the Prime Minister speaking.
to the media that actually Chivalama is in their hands, that he is a criminal, that he was arrested, and that was a record here, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister is not going to really impeach our confidence of demanding for Shibana, but Chibalama is on her farm and paying a ransom. Let her produce Chibalama. She said it. Now, uh, and that's the reason. That's the reason why, right on the speaker, humbly with respect, we decline the 30 days for them to come and report on these issues. And one by one, right on the speaker, the Prime Minister should not come to the House intimidating the House. There are demands that must be responded to with decorum and in sequence. Right on the speaker. Thank you. Right on the speaker. I want to thank most sincerely uh, Comrade Amazon Obua for the document he has laid. And I want to agree with him that the Human Rights Commission, which is the Constitutional Commission, confirmed 18 missing persons. Right on the speaker. And their list does not differ from what we have and have submitted on the floor parliament, including uh, Chibalama in the hands of the Prime Minister. <laughs> right on the speaker, if, if there is a government, order. <laughs> Let Honorable Speaker. Let Speaker and colleagues. It is on record that Chibarama, according to their report, was arrested in 2019. In 2019, I was a humble commissioner in this house. Secondly, Right Honorable Speaker, I am not an arresting officer. Mm. I have never arrested anybody in my life. And so, is this lead of opposition in order to insist, despite the report, Speaker, the leader of opposition, like I said earlier, has always been with us, and we are always in touch. By the way, I'm very close to the leader of opposition. Very close. If you didn't know, we have been having reports, myself and him, from police, now Human Rights Commission, he's aware. By the way, he might even be aware where Kibarama is than me. <laughs> point of order, which point of order? Honorable right Speaker, yeah. is it any order for the leader of opposition to continue insisting that the leader of government business, me, I have Kibarama when in actual sense he knows I'm not an arresting officer? Is it any order? <laughs> <laughs> now, on, on, honorable colleagues. Uh, but there is a point of order raised. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Honorable Speaker. For starters, I'm glad that the Prime Minister confirms that Shivanama was arrested in 2019. Of course, as uh, an advocate, that's a very good starting point. Um, the, the lead of government business is a supervisor of all these agencies and they can trace from the people who arrested Chibalama in 2019. If uh, he was burnt in an acid tanker, we can take the tanker. At least he was arrested. There's only one agents that can arrest. So you still have a duty to trace your arresting from your arresting agencies where Chibarama is. 
I want to, to, to assure you that his blood is on your hands. Right now, speaker. The, I have a document here on my file. I submitted it on the floor of parliament in 2021, including addresses, telephone contact for every next of kin. I even supplied telephone contacts of next of kin from whom some state agencies were asking for ransoms to release their family members. Clearly, with a statement saying on this one they were demanding for a ransom. It is a record of parliament, right on the speaker. Right on the speaker, before we go into the others that are, uh, at least are not, uh, have no record, at least those in the Human Commission record have addresses. In fact, on the day this statement was released, the chairperson purported to say that they were missing some record. The following day, family members delivered national IDs of these missing persons. The Honorable Abdallah Chuanuka, my shadow minister for internal affairs, even offered to deliver the Minister of Security to the home of Ewan Kanata Mohammed, who was picked by security in uniform in Walusubi, in Mukono, in 2021. speaker, I can recall one by one. So it's frimuse, it's hiding away from responsibility of a government with the dissos, with the gissos, with the pisos. I even hear the idea of pisos for family. So, right on the speaker, I know how governments collapse. Unless we are seeing a trace of a collapsing regime, that they cannot make a trace even with information of missing citizens. Right on the speaker. So if the minister does not need time to come back here and he has information, we are waiting for it, Regional right Speaker. Minister for Internet. What we are not going to accept is the free excuse of the supplied information. Let him regurgitate what he informed this House on case by case, Regional right Speaker. I don't know, I will say it for the upteenth time. I think the Honorable Lob has labored to extract a confession by duress using the House. But I still say, <laughs> I, I, I have no information further than what we have already submitted on the matters. Lop, uh, would you mind laying it over? Right on, Speaker. That's a personal file. Unfortunately, Parliament pays me not to supply government with uh, personal information. But... I can avail a duplicate copy of this file after agreeing on when is the minister supplying, supplying a response. Thank you. If the minister is willing to supply a response in the media, say, then I can consider. Because after this session, I will be able to supply a file. And then the minister can give us how much time he needs. Thank you. Honorable Chief Whip. Uganda Human Rights Commission, and I read the findings of Uganda Human Rights Commission on Chibalama John Bosco. The commission made several attempts to trace and record the statement of Natulinda Rita, a wife to the victim, but she has not been cooperative with the commission team and intentionally refused to give any information to the team. Specifically, during the July to August 2023 investigations, the team reached out to Natulinda through a known telephone number and she claimed that her husband is still missing. She informed the team that she was in Kakiri. The team then proceeded to Kakiri, but she could not answer her calls despite several phone calls which were aimed at seeking clear direction to her residence. However, when the team used a different phone number, she picked up. She picked up the call and requested them to give her a few minutes to avail herself. 
The team waited in vain, and when they called her again, she refused to answer the call. I beg to provide this information. Thank you, Red Honor Speaker, for being patient. And that's why I said in my preamble to the statement that these moments bring out uh, statesmen and decipher them from uh, demagogues and, uh, 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 and the social climbers. Let us speak up. <laughs> Let us speak up. I, um, on another day, if the rules permitted, I would have cross-examined the, the government chief whip over the statement he read here. <laughs> but if the rules do not permit, I will not. Right on, Speaker, I concede to bringing a fresh list to you. And on the day the government commits to responding to these issues in a sequence, I will return to the House, Right on, Speaker. I thank you. Ah. Okay. Ah, uh, I made a mistake. We are a bit different. We are a bit different. We are a bit Nti ya aino musai guwa shibala mamu ngalo. Singati zoli wanti shibala mamu ya tiwa. Bamu, bamu nyika mpipa ya asidi na emo chana asewe ngelida na guwao. Baku wate pipe yome mamu okera. Bajwe family ezike pipa. Baba nyenti wati isto omuntu wa fetu wa muzu hika. Nga mamu okeza yokeza. Elanti bechuna azuka anti shibala mamu fu. E ya muta ye saba mini sita na banja. Elo musai guwa shibala mamu li mungalo ze. <laughs> ah, na banja tide Ama jine gamu guwe Ntege tege nezimu faampa Na gama mama nze mfude Manu mirizo kutachibala mampa de <laughs> ah, Chibinu no na banja ya Beyo gire ya yeke njini Ya kuwa tulupapula List Na jisomira banda maulile, nchibala matu mulina, tuwa mkwa atila kakiri, ilafe tumulina, aine misangoja ya jza, yetaba mkubba polisi, okutaba sirikale, yesongarashi tuwa mkwa atu. Akatambi wekali nsiyo nekalina, kati aviega na chimulide, kati chen subira, ayenzo kubaya malago ugera, na atea inalisti, mini ngibamu wanino tuwa wakwa atu. Na ali kati ya dhidi ya chibala mwala kabawa muta, aine watamute gezanti tuwa muta. Waka tinga chimanyi chibala maa ya tibwa na ya tengolede ya choge la danti wa mulina. Yandi wa dega na the first place. Na ya choge la danti tu mulina. Katacha na jie kweka. Chava muka muake. Tewali ya liyamu kase. Banama ule vamo uza uza chibu uzo na chanu kula watu. Katichimulia. Eno tubulila chibala maa nojari. <laughs> watu leta terede. Hmm, netule mezemu. Awa mkule mbeze chagulani senta mu Robert Bobi Wanyi. Uwa ila furumeza ibigambo. Nga atugamba fe. Wana Uganda tule mezemu. Tubanja bantu bafawe. Wali ensonga. Bulula bango kubi mwa mu seven ya wantu. Nga alumwa nyonga tagala mbikule wo. Nga bulula mkuba onga alumwa nga zivi kila tagala mbikule wo. Bulula mkuba onga itabi diversion. Omanya uwamuru mawamu kala kata. Mkubile ya wodala. Kato mkule mbeza atugambe tukubile wodala. Tubanja bantu bafawabu zivu hao. Tukubile wodala. Nga tutu tuogila kudembele obu ntoe turugu. Nizeli chua bole wa muyuganda. Tukubile wodala. Kubana fawabu wa mkoti za maje nga siba na maje. Tukubile wodala. Kubana fawabu zivu wa stumanyu wa jivali. Tukubile wodala. Kubana fawabu kwenye wa mwakaza polisi na maje nebatiwa. Bana fawabu wa bana fawabu wa ambi wa droni. Bana fawabu zivu wa stumanyu wa jivali. Tukubile wodala. Tuangiro kubanja bantu bafe. Aomu seven wamuruma. Wamukona. Wamukona. 
president agambi awe wali ensonga era labyo na diversion Tuwali chetute sanga wanafe bacha abuze. Tuwali chetute sanga wanafe bafu bati wabwe mage. Tuwali chetute sanga wanafe bacha alimu koti masha atinga siva asirikali. Tuwali chete seze buwa nga wanafe teba nate buwa nga wanafe batu lugunyizi. Tuwali cha kutesa. Enso ngerichi muku banja wanafe au tinoku simbe sila. President agayo namu vileke wano wetuli wali omulamwa. Ati wano wetuli. Tuwali walala. Tulumbe tulumbe paka nga Uganda eterede. Kali biebio, nabanja ukutabuka kumutabude. Uh, <laughs> Bambanja chivala matamulava, timulide. Usungu bunji, alaba agude mumbi. Na jazigu wa mpaka ngalise chivala maasaga. Mbamu gambi, obo kakasanti chivala mamu wa mkwata mbili kumina muenda. Tumanyi wajari, gena mbitongo lebio kweri nda kubagu gobi supervisinga. Bikuwe chivala mawali, wali, fetulinze chivala ma. Lopu na alangirida. Babanga tebale sechi balama. Naba ntu wabalala. Titugenda kuda mupala menji. Dubana atuga ndu babale se. Nana fetu kumo mupala menji. Thank you. Subile vigenda kwa tayo. Minza ate nchua kuda ntu wala wa mupala menji. Thank you so much. Ok. Uh, Bwebi tiyo bwe bitambude. Mbagala nyo mwe nabaliko mwe baliku wako. Mpala menti nze njiba wade mune kwa sabi ya mwenja gala mutambule no kumanya yeso gala chinga nonyo wane wali nengale tane mutambule wanga mutegede na lache shigena maso kubaya mwashi tegede konti mpala menti ya wambidwa SFC tuwali kamila ziwa dezi kilizi wayo ilavi no kubifuna luba delutalo kuruwana eno jiba itala bada basta ilo jo ulira yeyo katino tukutusa hako bulichigani duwa fetu chitusa mkule mbeza gamba tuwebelele mu tuwebelele bagezi tebutu sobola ilana fetu sobola kwa no tubile eta no bilaba mbaga la nyo 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 mbaga